How to train a dominant dog. Describing a dog as dominant has come to mean a dog who sees itself as top dog, boss, and head of the household. In reality, this motivation for this type of behavior is exceedingly rare. The real explanation is usually that the dog is just trying to make sense of a world it doesn't understand. When we don't set firm ground rules, or fail to understand the messages dogs are sending out with their body language, dogs then write their own rules. In order to change so-called, dominant behavior, you need to understand what motivates your dog, set clear guidelines, and spend the time needed to reinforce those guidelines. Identifying bad behaviors and inconsistent rules. Identify behaviors that stem directly from inconsistent training. You need to give clear and consistent direction to a dog in order for it to understand what you want from it. Once you have created a clear line of communication with your dog, and it knows how you express your directions, then other problems can be more easily addressed. Problems that stem from inconsistent training include but are not limited to, refusing to get off furniture. The dog may have received inconsistent messages about being on the furniture. If one family member says it is fine and another says it's not, the dog gets mixed messages. This makes the dog think it can choose what it wants, and thus chooses the comfy furniture to sit on, refusing to obey your commands or to listen. This is not willfulness or the dog refusing to bow to your authority. It is more likely the dog has had inconsistent training and it believes that it has the option to obey. Also, a dog may feel it is not in its best interests to respond to a command, for example if it is fearful of punishment. Determine other bad behaviors that need to be eliminated. These behaviors may appear to be about dominance but usually are rooted in a basic lack of training. Thus, these behaviors need consistent training to be eliminated. Typical behaviors such as this include, guarding its food bowl, it might be that the dog had its food taken away when it wasn't finished eating, or was disturbed while eating. Food is a premium resource and something dogs are programmed to defend. After all, their survival depends on it. If the dog perceives its resources are threatened it may be prepared to go on the offensive, mounting other dogs or your legs. This behavior has many explanations, such as play behavior, appeasement behavior, and learned behavior. None of these explanations are dominance-based. Pulling on the leash, the dog is not trying to lead you because it is dominant and in charge. Instead, the dog is either eager to get to the park, or believes this is how leading walking is done. Basically, the dog hasn't been properly taught to walk to heel, urinates in the house. Dogs are likely to scent mark not out of dominance, but because they want to alert others that this is their territory. Lack of house training is another reason for inappropriate toileting in the home. Make a list of your dog's behaviors that you want to change. These behaviors may present as obstinance or dominance, or simply as stubbornness. Making a list will help you prioritize your training goals and it will help you keep track of the work you have done and still have to do. Identify your part in allowing these behaviors to persist. You may see a pattern emerging when listing your dog's bad behavior. In most cases, the dog is not given clear and consistent training as to what is an ISNT appropriate. This is your job as its owner and thus your lack of leadership is half the problem. Commit to changing your dog's misbehavior through positive training. The principles of training a dominant dog are to learn about what motivates your dog and to give it clear ground rules to work with. This will assure that it doesn't get to set its own agenda.